Well, as you guys know, we just talked about a few moments ago, that the bread represents Christ's broken body, and the wine represents the blood that was spilled. I don't think as a Christian there's anything greater that we can actually physically participate in than this moment here, to be able to partake in what he has done for us. It's through his death and through his life, the resurrection, that he has given us all undeserving grace and, and just the power of eternal life. We've had to do nothing to earn it, but he asks us, if you choose this, to walk with me all the way. And that means through his love and being obedient through his word and through his commands. How blessed we are that we can have this moment. I pray that you cherish it. I pray that you walk away blessed as we are ready to participate in it. And with that said, I am going to have you to have the blessing over the bread. Let us pray. Again, blessed Father, there's not any words that can express what you have done for us. And especially in these days that are coming, we're living in a time that it looks like it's chaos, that everything is falling apart, hatred spread throughout this world. People just will not get along. Wars, rumor wars. Our climate is going completely out of whack. But yet, we know that you're in control. We know that your love is there for us. You gave it all to us on that cross. He was willing to take the stripes that we ourselves deserve, but yet he was willing to do this all so that we can come before the cross and be saved through you. Now I hope and pray that everyone here today and those who don't even know you will come to hear what you have done, recognize what you have done, and appreciate what you have done for us so that we can be saved through you, through your precious blood. So I hope today that everyone will recognize that because we've got to be prepared for the day is coming that you're going to be here again. And we've got to be ready for that. And I ask this in your precious and wonderful loving name, Jesus. Amen. As it is my custom to read from 1 Corinthians chapter 11, 
verse 24. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take ye, this is my body which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. blessing over the wine. Let's pray. Our Heavenly Father, God, again, how blessed that we are that we can participate in such a beautiful ceremony. Father God, to remember the broken body and the blood that was spilled for all of us, how blessed we are that you've given us eternal life through this broken body and blood. Father God, we just ask before your throne that you will cleanse us with this blood, that you will forgive us of all of our unrighteousness and continue to impute righteousness into us because of this sacrifice, the sacrifice of your blessed Son, Father. And through your Spirit, lead and guide our hearts and our minds that we will be of one accord with you. And Father, please, continue, continue, please, to give us your never-ending grace. It is through that grace through the love of Jesus, through the love of God, that we can come before your throne. It's in his name. And again from 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 25. In the same manner, he also took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is a new covenant in my blood. This do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. You know, it's amazing 
what this moment can mean to each one of us individually. It's amazing how powerful it really is. And I say this in no disrespect to any of our brothers and sisters who do this weekly, but sometimes I think it takes a little bit of the importance out of what they do. And I know the Lord tells us whenever we do this, we should do this in remembrance of Him. To be able to participate with Jesus Christ, with God on His throne, to help us do this, to cleanse us, to heal us from all of our unrighteousness. It is, uh, there's just no words to describe for me personally, and I'm sure it is for many of you. And I just pray that you take this moment, you cherish it, and move forward in faith because of the sacrifice, knowing that we have life, eternal life. Amen? Amen. So as has been our custom in the past, while he is collecting up the cups, let's sing the first stanza of a... No, not Amazing Grace, my bad, just one thought. Jesus loves me. Yes, thank you. Jesus loves me. My tongue was tight. <laughs> Jesus loves me. This I know. For the This is 